and welcome into Bon Appetit. And if you want to be healthy for the summer, because now we're getting into the month of June, summer officially starts in about two weeks, you can put on that bathing suit and say, ooh, what did I do wrong? You probably weren't eating good, fresh fruits and vegetables. You want to get the best, you go to Wright's Produce. They're located on Congressman Dickinson Drive, the old Federal Drive, right next door to Garrett Coliseum. So it's real easy to find plenty of parking Easy yeah. to walk in and get there. Open seven days a week. Mm -hmm. And this is Gene Wright, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Open seven um, days a week from like 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they try to get put stuff up around 4.30, and then the doors close at 5. So you're not right. going to get there at 5 after 5 and you're going to be going, bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Gene, vegetables are in. Yes. And we're yes. getting them from all over. We are. Now your uh, peas and butter beans. Okay. Uh, they're coming in. The homegrown peas and butter beans haven't started yet. It's going to be a little later on those, but every year we have Georgia or Florida peas. Georgia mm -hmm. raises so many butter beans. Isn't that amazing? And if it wasn't for them, we, wouldn't we have probably them. wouldn't have any yeah. butter beans. Yeah. And you know, you try to do as much as you can locally with local oh, yes. farmers, oh, yes. but at the same time, you got to give the people what they want to eat. That's right. Um, the local farmer, you know, you can't get things picked out in the fields, yeah, so. It's hard. Yeah, that's right. Georgia is really big on butter beans, but uh, we'll have a, uh, some local peas here in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, you can buy them where you snap them yourself, or you can buy them where these are already done for you, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. We got them shelled, we got them by the bushels. Love it, okay. Uh, yeah. And they're pretty right now. They're not they stung are. up, they're not, you know, that's they're just good. It's a good real time pretty. To get them. Oh, yeah. So, and then a Vidalia onions. Vidalia onions. That's Vidalia, Georgia. If you ever go there, when you get past the city limits, your mouth waters. That's mm -hmm. right. You're yep. ready. And your eyes cure. You're ready. <laughs> you taught, you were showing me something. Uh, we were talking about that the summer squash looks like it's not even real. It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's coming and out of South these. Alabama. These See are Alabama stem? squash. Yeah. Okay. If that stem's pretty and green, you know that squash is fresh. I'll be. But um, yeah, these were and just... Okay, so now that's that's kind of a lime green. green. This, it's not this a dark pretty. green. But, yeah. So it lime green, because a lot of times you look at that and say, well, eh, maybe it's not ripe yet, but when it's that color green, lime green, mm. you're okay. Those oh, are yeah. things Fresh you need to know. Off the vine. Yeah, you can, uh, this would be considered a number one squash yeah. because mm -hmm. of the size. Right. The bigger they get, the, like a two, number two. Or, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's... Uh, the, these are so tender yes oh, oh wow and, and you can just uh you can take that whole squash and uh, wash it real good put it on a plate or something put it on the in the microwave and have you some butter and salt and pepper and, and put on there oh know. yeah it's amazing yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah nice thing too when you go to rights if you have any questions everybody that works there is knowledgeable yeah it's not like when you go into a grocery store and you gotta oop is this is this they're going to let you know, and they're going to say exactly what you just mm -hmm. told us to. New potatoes. New potatoes. They're digging new potatoes in South Alabama, and that's what we call okay. the creamer. That's your smaller. It's a nice one. But mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. And your beans. Why do you call that a new potato as opposed to an old potato? Or is, is it just, they just call them new potatoes, huh? They're the red potatoes. Red they potatoes. But they, call, they just gave them the name new potatoes. Mm -hmm. the bean, the, those beans are great. Uh-huh. They're South Alabama. Yep. Yep, coming up right now. And then, of course, you can't oh. beat corn on the cob. Oh, yeah, this corn is, I mean, it's really been good this year. That's your silver queen. Right. And that's your peaches and cream. It's gotten to be real popular. Yeah, and I you think, know, when people, when they were sometimes low on silver queen, I said, oh, no, 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 this is just as good. It is. Yes, it, it is. It is, yeah. It's got a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the white. Mm -hmm. mm. And then these are great. Too. Your cucumbers and your tomatoes. Uh huh. And that's your what they call the little Kirby cucumbers. Right. Uh huh. Uh, people use these in salads, and uh, I had a little some kids in on a field trip here a while back, and uh, this one little boy, he said he he said that's pickles. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> That's what they make. That's what they make. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. get smaller too, but uh, <laughs> they're homegrown. All right, now we'll have three slocum tomatoes. Slocum tomatoes. Uh -huh. Come in, and they are so 
tasty. Mm -hmm. Slocum, Alabama. Right. Everybody's Everybody been waiting on those, yeah. So. And then there's a whole area inside the farmer's market there where she has things that are already pre-bottled, pre-canned, and, and you, you need to go on over there and just spend a little time, look at some of the stuff. A lot of them are on the, your own name, the rights, and you mm -hmm. get them bottled for yourself. But some, just, just some amazing things that you can find over there. Black-eyed pea dip. Ooh. Now, would this be good? Yes, yes. it would be good. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. absolutely. And good for you. On the other hand, this, ah, I know people that would love this. I would be on fire, but these are awesome. Mm -hmm. Jalapeno peppers? Habanero. 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 Oh, that's the Habanero. hottest, that's the hottest one. And I think we have the jalapeno too, so. Habanero is hotter mm -hmm. than jalapeno. <laughs> yeah. And we have a uh, olives. Have some that are uh, lemon stuff, so they're different, different things. things. And, yeah. Yeah, and you've just got loads of great things like that, and they make wonderful gifts. Oh, they yes. do, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, especially if you have, if you're doing a wedding. Well, we did one time when, when my grandson got married, and the people came down uh, from out of town. You always give a little gift to those that came from out of town. I tried to pick as many things as I could that are indigenous to Alabama. Right. Because, right. you know, mm -hmm. the person comes out here from Wisconsin, right. and go, whoa, what's oh, yeah. that, you know, uh -huh. and it makes it great. And you've got the beautiful Vinca. Uh -huh, these are Vinca. so pretty, and these, you said, are coming in from South Alabama? Well, that, that one did. I, you know, our local growers, they have, uh, the tra it's the trailing Vinca, L-Trail. Okay, trail. okay. Mm -hmm. But it likes sun, and uh, we have them in different colors, and it's a good heat plant. Beautiful blossoms, and yes. those are twice the size of the normal blossom, mm -hmm. so you know they're healthy. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jean. Thank you for all that you thank do. You. Just remember, eat healthy. It's easy to do when we have places like Rice Produce, and we'll be right back right after this.